time to talk some more about jewelry. A lot of my jewelry designs are inspired by antique or at least vintage jewelry, but some of them are also inspired by Cracker Jacks. You know, the caramel popcorn that used to come with a prize inside, a little toy. Now it just comes with a game code for an online game, but it used to have a real toy. One type of antique jewelry that has always inspired me is hair jewelry that was common in the Victorian period. And it is made out of hair. It was a kind of mourning jewelry, um, so you'd use the hair of your loved one and weave a beautiful design and wear them close to your heart. That's one of the things I've always loved about jewelry, that it's so personal and it really is something that you want to keep on you. Um, a common um, theme in hair jewelry were acorns, and here it says um, it was for symbolized power, and uh, but I've also read that it symbolized eternity because you have the the uh, cycle of going from an acorn to an oak and then back to an acorn. So when I combined the inspiration of the acorn theme with the Cracker Jack theme, I ended up with this necklace, which is an 18 karat gold acorn that has the woven top as the uh, example of the hair jewelry did. And the acorn opens up and there is a tiny squirrel inside. So that is the Wendy Brandis Jewelry Prize. Another prize inside piece was inspired by um, a beautiful artwork that I saw in the Danish Royal Collections when I visited Denmark quite a few years ago. Um, that was the hen and the egg. It's actually a hen-sized egg of ivory that opens up to show a gold egg, a yolk, a chicken, and then finally a tiny diamond ring. One thing I do when I take inspiration from older pieces, sometimes I make it much larger or much smaller. In this case, it was a large piece. And by the way, this was not a Fabergé egg, the famous Russian, one of the famous Russian eggs. Um, it might have inspired Fabergé. It was made in Paris and predated those pieces. My tribute to the Danish egg is this chicken and egg locket. And in this case, I can tell you the egg did come first before the chicken because we had to make sure we knew what size it was. And my gold egg opens up to reveal a silver, tiny silver chicken, which is very much inspired by the Danish chicken because I thought she was really cute. And the chicken opens up to show three tiny golden eggs. So I try to stay away from doing exact replicas. Of course, I wasn't doing a hand sized egg. But um, this, my work doesn't have the ivory, it doesn't have the yolk, it doesn't have a tiny diamond ring. I did do several layers, but I like to think it's my own interpretation of this concept. A final piece of my prize inside type of jewelry is this Juana um, heart locket. It's actually called the Peekaboo Skull Locket because it has this beautiful ruby heart on the outside. And when you open it up, as a skull with ruby eyes on the inside. And this was a very common theme in mourning jewelry, going back to that topic. Skulls and skeletons were a common theme in mourning jewelry. It was a reminder that your time on earth is limited, so you should seize the day, or at least keep in mind that the afterlife is coming. Like quite a few of my pieces, this is inspired by two historical elements, the Victorian mourning jewelry that I just mentioned, and the life story of Juana la Loca, who was a 16th century Spanish queen. La Loca means the crazy one, and Juana had a lot of male relatives who were very anxious to take over her territory in Spain, so it was convenient for them to say that she was crazy. She might have been crazy, but she might not have been. You never know. One of the stories that was used to support the claim that Juana might be crazy was the fact that she kept opening the coffin of her husband after he died to take a final look at him. Uh, supposedly it was because she loved him so much, Maybe there were other reasons. I also did a ring with diamond bones on the front and you open it up and the skull in this case has white sapphire eyes. Click the links below to read more about the inspiration for these pieces and see more pictures on my blog. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my next video.